check, Mr. Bowman, you were correct in your recollection. Um, in the 109th Congress, under the Republican majority, in a bill of Mr. Hensling's, we took the cap off small business lending entirely for the QTL. There was a 10% business cap, but none for small business, and that passed the House in the 109th Congress when the Republicans were the majority. And then in the previous Congress with the Democrats in the majority, Mr. Kandorsky was the sponsor of it, and it also passed the House. So the House has twice now sent to the Senate legislation to remove that cap, and uh, maybe the third time will be the charm. I think we may get bipartisan efforts to uh, do that. And as members know, charm is not my special area, but uh, um, we'll see if it works. Um, I uh, believe we are now up to Ms. Dalcumber. I'm sorry, that was the- Thank you, Mr. Well, Chairman. I, I preempted my co-chair. Ms. Dalcumber. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Um, thank you to the witnesses for being here today. And certainly this is um, an issue of great importance to my district in Pennsylvania and to uh, small business access to capital across this country. Uh, during these difficult times, I think it's paramount to the American economy to help our small businesses access their cap access this capital. Um, Ms. Mills, as you're aware, uh, I, along with Congresswoman Bean, recently introduced some legislation aimed at increasing access to capital through the Small Business Administration's 7A Express Loan Program. And I want to ask you a couple questions um, regarding that program. First of all, what is the SBA's view on increasing the loan size for the 7A Express Loan pr Program? And um, how do you see this as fitting into the larger picture of the SBA lending programs? The SBA Express Loan Program is designed for businesses to give them working capital. And as you know, and, and as in the bill you introduced, the, um, one of the most severe problems right now is that small businesses have had their lines of credit withdrawn or cut back. And now as they begin to see that next order come, they don't have the inventory and they don't have the cash flow to expand and take that on without working capital lines. The SBA Express program is very popular because it actually has, um, allows the bank to use its own paperwork. There's no incremental paperwork. And that uh, allows a much faster result for the borrower. So we see that as a very good vehicle that's up and ready today. It is currently about 55% used by community banks, and we see community banks as a very important conduit to these small businesses who are, um, who are growing. We ask for an increase in size to $1 million. The current cap is 350000 I want to point out that the default rates on the SBA Express are higher than usual in the small amounts, and they're actually lower than usual in the larger loans uh, up to the 350,000. So the modeling and expectation is that these actually will have lower default rates than our 7A program. Where is the cutoff that you're seeing the difference in terms of the default rates? Well, there's a chart in your, um, in, in your materials, and um, uh, I think we had it up on the screen um, earlier. And uh, I think if we, if we look at that, we can see it's about in the middle. So it's below, we have data up to the 350,000. But this is, this is the chart and the uh, sort of line going down is the, um, uh, and it's about, it looks like it's about at the $100,000 level. So it moving it from the 350 up to the million, which is what our legislation has, would be actually, you would see a lower default rate it, according to your research at this That's point. what the data indicates. Okay. Um, one other question on that. Is there anything in your view that would keep our community banks or credit unions from fully participating in the 7A Express loan, should they choose? No, they participate uh, very robustly now, and particularly in 2009, as we've brought these 1,000 community banks back to lending. They participated in this as well. And is there a, a need, an outcry for the larger amount from businesses Yes, out absolutely. There? there is a real gap in the credit market right now for working lines of, of credit, and there is demand there. We are seeing it both in our SBA Express increase in volumes and in our 7A increase in volumes. I have one final question, and um, I don't know who would like to answer this, but it's about credit unions, and I've uh, certainly talked to the credit unions in my area who are very well capitalized, and they'd like to see uh, their ability to lend go from 12.5 to 25 
Would someone like to address that in terms of what you think that could do in terms of getting um, credit out to our small businesses throughout our communities? Uh, speaking for Treasury, uh, we're in a dialogue with the credit unions right now uh, and to understand their needs better, and we're going to continue that dialogue in, in the days to come, and uh, then we can get back to you about that. And, and well, my credit unions have told me they have billions of dollars that they're ready to okay. lend to businesses today Great. if allowed Thanks. to. So thank you. I yield back the remainder of my time.